somebody left a comment that was like, and answer this if you can, that you did you have <clears throat> one of those an ancestral tests or whatever where you can like see if somehow like like cousins or cousins of you ever do anything like that to try to get a little closer to knowing who your father was? Yeah, we actually we actually did something. I mean, we ain't gonna speak on it. I ain't gonna speak on it too much because I don't know how much me and me and my godmommy really really say we was gonna talk about that, but we did something with um I would say Lakeisha, the one that was supposed to be Jay Z alleged daughter too, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. Yeah, that mm -hmm. was blocked. Wow. Just around the time that Ramir was about to do it, some of that was blocked because the young lady who, who had uh, said the same thing, I think you guys know who she is, yeah. she reached out to him a year before. We got it all in documentation. And they were coming together to do a siblings test. And that got blocked. Yeah, so I, I want to say this. Happened. I know our time is running out. There's so much bigger, more stuff, guys. We can do series if you want because we want to try to really change the system. Really do. I'm gonna make this system better. I'm not trying to just come on and talk because I could talk a long time ago and I have a talking history of stuff that I've done in the past. But I'm not sure if you guys are aware um, that Ramir was shot at Damn. somewhere in September. Um, he was in the parking lot with other people near where he's at living now. And out of all the cars there, his was the only one shot up. So we believe that that was a nexus or a connection, I believe, between the case and what's going on because it was around the time. In addition to that, we've had people come to this, my home in the past, driving on the grass. We have pe people knocking on the door at 4 o'clock in the morning. We've been through all of it, mostly around the filing time. So this is a bigger picture than this. We want to try to make a difference with the Pro Se Act or the Legal Abuse Act bringing new legislation and trying to sit down at the table with the lawmakers to make a difference. In addition to the fact, because, you know, like you said before, Mr. Carter might not never do anything. And I'm sure he probably won't, but it ain't about him. This is about the system, the system allowing things to happen that were very agreed and put our lives at stake in some regards. So I just wanted to say that and that's what another reason why we were still going to the criminal stuff for the second time this time, the prosecutor's office locally did get involved, but everything is slow, slow moving and things are happening. And, you know, it's, a, it's corruption going on all over. But at the end of the day, if we get the public to help us out with their local persons and local support, that will change the game. That would be a game changer. I want to ask, ask this question to, to um, Dr. Coley. Um, you know, Ramirez's mother was your friend and no disrespect. I, I, I got to ask this question to be responsible. Is there any chance that your friend possibly, do you ever have the, the inclination that your friend possibly could have not lied, but maybe there's a possibility that Ramirez's dad is some, someone other than Jay-Z that it ever oh, come to your mind? Of course. Of course. There's always that 1% chance. That's mm -hmm. why this case has never been about paternity. Mm -hmm. It's about this, you being able to go into court, whether you win or lose, and get fair due process. If we go on the court, get fair due process, and we he does what he needs to do, because we could have wrote something, what boy, there are disclosures. It's all kinds of things you could do. But at the end of the day, the law says in New Jersey that if the person who resists to take the test is presumed the father, that's what the law says. Here in New Jersey, anybody who don't want to do it and go away from doing it or prevents from doing it is presumed the father. So right now he's presumed the father. He's not even alleged. He's resumed the father and Ramir has the option of whether or not he wants to say what he want to say in that regard. I never got too much into the paternity after I saw what happened. I was trying to do the right thing by the kid at the time. At this point now, I see that it's bigger than that. So I had been trying to do it because other people said they went through similar stuff that was crazy. But Ramir, Wanda was not just my friend. Wanda was my goddaughter. Literally. That she was my child. And I met her through Sunday school. We were very close. We went our separate ways when she went off to live with her mom. I didn't see her through college and all that. And somehow God brought us back together. And then she had all these circumstances with her child. And of course I helped her, so forth and so on. Um, this is, it is what it is. 
So I think one of the things you just got to remember is that uh, this was a relationship that we had. Uh, she was uh, my goddaughter. And then her godson was Ramir. And it all came together as where it is at now. So we talked, we prayed, we talked, we prayed. I looked in her eyes. She looked in my eyes. We, it was with a journey. But we knew right. that getting Mr. Carter to do what he didn't want to do is something's totally different than me going in the court and not getting fair due process. That's all we wanted. And then, like I said, if you lose, you lose. At least it was fair. Right. All right. That's it. I'm you muted. You're muted. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's right. Um, you, you spoke earlier about how you um, tried to reach out to his alleged daughter about a year or so ago, and that got blocked. Uh, the interaction itself got blocked. Can you speak on who blocked it? Are y'all allowed to? We don't know. Um, she reached out to us. Okay. We, she reached out to us, and we didn't know wh whether it was true or not until we saw her ancestry, where she was able to use her mechanisms and family members to get what she needed. Yeah. And she, um, she reached out to us on Twitters and um, you know, Facebooks, and it just took me some time to read through the messages to, uh, to really see who she was. But she definitely reached out. Are there um other do you did you go to other platforms out there and did any platforms turn you down? Didn't anything didn't want anything to do with the story? Not really. I think they, they don't want to talk about no paternity. Because I don't want to talk about paternity. I'm done. Yeah, I really don't know. The platforms, I guess I I really want I can't speak for them. I really don't know. I guess I guess right. they did because I, right. Basically, in a nutshell, there were a lot of people that took the story, the legal part of it. You can do that Google. Uh, for the recent stuff, people mm -hmm. don't want to hear the same story. Right. They want to hear what's going on today. And what are you going to do about it? So that's where I'm at. And been there for a while. But at the end of the day, we had to go through the stuff of this other, this criminal process, which is the latest thing. So, yeah, there's some that want to do it, but you got to come on and talk about something else. They don't want to hear about no paternity and somebody coming over here. They want to find out what are you going to do about it and where is it going? So that's where we've been for a while and trying to move. Yeah, I understand it's sympathetic. Like I said to Ramir, I get it. But you, when you're dealing with the public, you need to educate the public on where you are and what's going on. And then what are you going to do about it? Because like I said, I got properties with an S. Mm -hmm. And other folk got properties. Mm -hmm. And I had to submit to the state of New Jersey and they didn't. And I live here. So I got a problem with that. So stuff like that is kind of crazy to me. Is somebody on your screen, Ramir? What did you say? So I just saw somebody's fingers or something. Yeah. You guys have any more questions? Yeah, I got I got one more question. Um, Ramir, are you scared for your life? You know, it's unfortunate that you were shot at. I'm glad that you were okay from that. Um, do you think that that was a situation where you were targeted? And if so, are you scared for your life? No, I'm, no, I'm not scared for my life. I mean, I, it, it was a scary situation. It was a scary situation, but you know, it's just an unfortunate. You know, I'm from North Philadelphia. I'm not saying I got nothing to do with it, but I, I heard, I saw a gunshot. I heard gunshots and just saw crazy shit before. So, but it was, it was, a, it definitely was a scary situation because I never, you know, I never been through it. I don't. I barely come outside and I stay to myself. So it's like, you know. It was reported to the police. The FBI has it. And um, the prosecutor's office has it. Mm -hmm. My last question will be, um, do you guys fear now more backlash, whether it be legal repercussions, any type of repercussions now that you're going after somebody who's so high on, you know, even a totem pole? Do you fear like anything coming back on you guys? You know, you ready to deal with that? Uh, I honestly feel like people going honestly say what they want, or you know, honestly, I can't. We can't control the world. You know, we still going to live our life day to day and continue to, you know, do what we have to do to succeed and go forward. But that's it. Yeah, criminal charges is public information. The, the courts are public, and um. I think people kind of already know. As a matter of fact, some people were sending the stuff a long time ago and saying, why didn't you do this and why didn't you do that? And some of the things that were done just never got materialized for whatever reason. 
So this is kind of an almost full circle. But at the end of the day, all the right people need know what they need to know. We had the same circumstance as the girls from the gymnastics team. When they uh, they said if one government person would have did their job, we wouldn't be in this situation. Well, we're, it's the same thing with us. If one government person would have did something, then we would have not been in this situation. We are so past paternity, we're into another land. And now we're into a place where the reality has set in even the more on what we should do and not do. So the backlash is gonna come anyway, because that's the way they, that's the way they do. Yeah. Well, we I'm I, I'm from the biggest church in Philadelphia, and uh, you know they already we got a legal clinic there, so it's not even a big thing. Well, and they kind of know who to mess with, but they got to do what they got to do. 